Hey guys, it's Matt again for Making Matt. And this time I brought hot chocolate. And no, it's not a sponsored video. People these days. Well, anyways, today I'm gonna to be showing you this little cool thing that I built. It's called a Tesla turbine. Let's go check it out here on Making Matt. Let's get started. I uh, know! Such nice knife skills! Okay, now it's time to cut some reflective tape to put on our turbine so we can see how fast it's going. I'll explain some more later. So I got a piece of reflective tape and I'm going to tape it onto the shaft of this Tesla turbine. Like so. And why I did that you might be asking? Well. I have this tachometer, it measures RPM. It shoots at a laser light, bounces off the reflective tape, it goes in here, counts many how many times it does that, and it uses the time it took in between each of those. Um, and it gives us a number, so that's pretty cool. So I'll be using that, and I'll be blowing it, and let's start the show, let's start its engines. <sighs> <clears throat> Not too bad. Shh. Quiet. So, I got up to 6,500 RPM just by blowing it. So, the max I have been able to do with this by blowing is actually 14,000, which is quite high. And then with an air compressor at 120 PSI, I've been able to get it uh, spinning up to 20,000 revolutions, I believe. So... That's pretty cool, if I do say so myself. <laughs> so you're probably wondering, who invented the Tesla turbine? Well, as the name implies, Tesla turbine, it was created by Nikolai Tesla. So I have taken apart the Tesla turbine to show you how it works. There are just three screws holding them in. I unscrewed those. And I'm going to show you how it works. So there are two, three printed cases, sort of two parts to the case. Then I have this axle here, two ball bearings, and then I have six plates. And they have holes in them near the center. And then in between the plates are some spacers. So how does this thing work? So I'll just put that in there. So the air comes in here, and it's traveling around here, and it's trying to get out. And the only place for it to get out, because it's all sealed up, is the two exhaust ports here, and on the other end, here. So how it makes its way from there to there is these holes. So the air is traveling around in there um, really fast and it slowly makes its way to the holes and through the holes it gets to the exhaust. And because the air um, is in contact with these discs for such a long time, it speeds these up. And it takes a little time to get them going to top speed, but uh, when the air is moving faster, you can get these discs to go really fast because there is very little friction. So that's pretty cool. So we'll close that up. And yeah. <sighs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed that. No, Elby, this is not sponsored by hot chocolate. Poor Elby, he's losing his head. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you like that one, if you like this video, you might have liked my other ones. You might like my other ones. So check them out.
I'll be increasing. 